How do my artists and welcome to the Mega Charizard X competition stage. Going in here, we've got Hakamoto, we've got Mega Mewtwo. I forget if this is X or Y. It's the one that gets rid of itself in the combos. We've also got Silvalli, just because we've got another couple of types on the stage. And Silvalli's ability is absolutely incredible when it goes off. Increases damage done by any Pokemon in a combo, which is just wonderful, especially on a stage like this. You've got three Pokemon. If you're lucky, the Mewtwo isn't going to be there for very long at all. After a while, those blocks on the stage will completely disappear after there are some last Charizard Xs which is completely fine, and once the disruption delay wears off, you'll start getting uh, Komotos all over the stage. Wonderful, a very enjoyable stage to do, just because of the combo potential and the amount of damage you're able to do, it's very high. As it seemed, as with always with the Silvalli, it seemed like I was only getting matches with um, very few. The, the combos that weren't really that great. I, it's skill level 4, it's up to level 20, as high as it can go. One skill level left, and yet it still seems like it only the ability only works at the most inopportune times, when there's a combo of less than 10. No idea what happens with it, it just doesn't seem to like me. I like using it, just doesn't seem to like me. I'm sure this is what a lot of people find. They would love some higher combos with Sil Valley. Doesn't always work, but it's nice to have along. And that's pretty much the the stage. It's just a normal free Pokemon stage. As you'd expect, as we've come to understand a lot of these competitions to be, you take along one specific Pokemon, it will disrupt that one a lot and you want to take along ones that are very good just for getting rid of themselves or other Pokemon. Instead of the Mega Mewtwo, I think, which is probably the best, I couldn't see any of the... Uh, there were no super effective Megas that got rid of themselves. The Shiny Gyarados, which I think is the most powerful one, that's uh, not very effective, so it would do a little bit less than this one would. Gengar, again, it's not as powerful as this one. It's a very good choice. If you've not got this one to a high enough level, go with Gengar. It's pretty much 6.5 and half a baker's dozen at this point. Because they will all be doing pretty good combos anyway, so you don't really need to worry. It will do a little bit less maybe in damage output, but it only takes three candies, whereas I think this Mewtwo takes quite a few more. So you don't need to worry too much about the Mega, but I would definitely recommend uh, a Mega that just completely gets rid of itself. You could always, if you're one of those insane and incredibly skilled people, use the Tyranitar or even Mega Charizard X, the shiny one. That could possibly be okay on the stage, I think it's super effective and you disrupt around two points you tap. When it's fully candied, it only takes a match of three, I believe, for the Mega to actually get going, which is insane. It takes 15 candies, but it's pretty good nonetheless. And so I thought, why not go through Broke? Let's see what we can do. Maybe a Sil Valley match into Mewtwo, but it was just a complete letdown. Such an anticlimax to a relatively fun and enjoyable stage. But the final score 247,224. That puts me number 20 in the world, in the top 20. It will go down, but I'll keep trying this stage throughout the week. Thank you very much for watching, and how do my artists? Eggs! Eggs! E double GS eggs! <laughs>